Hello everyone, today we're gonna to be walking you through how to install a Halo two post clear floor lift. The great thing about this lift is it comes in multiple lifting capacities, 10,000 pounds, 12,000 pounds, as well as 14,000 pounds. And to start off, we're gonna show you how to unload the lift off of your trailer so you can get the installation started. After removing the bolts, the car hoist will be used to lift up each post so that we can remove it from the trailer safely. Now that we've unloaded the lift from the trailer, we've set everything aside so we can begin the install. I'd like to give you a quick overview of everything included in your Halo 2 post clear floor model lift. So you got your equalizing cables, hydraulic hoses, 220 volt motor, brake line covers, your 12 anchor bolts, lifting pads, 12 extensions for your lifting pads, as well as a kill switch to protect your car, and four adjustable arms. So we're gonna start off by using a chalk line to ensure that our posts are going to be aligned and in the exact position that we want them to be in the garage or shop. Now we've used two gentlemen to lift the post off of the ground and center it on the chalk line that we placed earlier. Now that we've centered the two posts on the chalk line that we've placed, you'll want to ensure that you measure the spacing between the inside of each post to the specs of your two post lift. On a 10,000 pound lift that we're installing today, that comes out to exactly 115 inches. Make sure you check the specs on the 12,000 or 14,000 pound lift. With the two posts properly aligned, now we're gonna put up the crossbar best practice is to use two individuals to put that up so you'll need two ladders and once you get it up there on each side it's attached by a set of four nuts and bolts that you want to make sure you tighten well now that the cross beam is installed we want to begin installing our hydraulic hoses as well as cables the easiest way to do this is to make sure that your carriage is in the right position the carriage is this yellow piece of metal you see here. The carriage comes with a ladder that has multiple locking position slots. You wanna raise that carriage up to the seventh locking slot from the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that we have the carriage in the correct position to install the hydraulic hoses and cables, you'll want to take a look at the bottom of the hydraulic cylinder. You'll see there's a red plastic plug there. That is there to ensure that no dirt gets into the hydraulic cylinder, which can affect its operation. You'll simply remove that with your hands because we're going to be plugging a hose to that. Each Halo two post lift comes with two cables. Each cable has a short threaded end and a long threaded end. When you're facing the post, the long threaded end will go on the right side of the carriage, while the short threaded end will go on the left side of the carriage. Now we're going to show you how to run these cables across the crossbar and into each of the carriages. Now you'll wanna run the end of each cable through the pulleys that are located and mounted on the cross beam at the very top of the posts. In order to have enough space to run the cable through each of the two pulleys that are located up top, you'll want to remove one pen in between the pulleys. That'll allow you the ability to slide the pulley over and run the cable through it. Please remember that the long threaded end goes on the right side pulley and the short threaded end from the second cable goes on the left side pulley. All right, now that we've ran both cable ends through the pulleys attached to the cross beam up top, you'll want to run the cable with the long threaded end through the hole inside the carriage that's on the right side of the post. Once you've done that, You'll want to take your hex nut and thread it to a point where it's five and a quarter inches from the tip of the cable. Then you'll take your second hex nut, thread it all the way to that position, 
and using crescent wrenches, you'll tighten both together to ensure that there's no movement in the cable. Now we're going to be installing the second cable with the short threaded end on the left side of the carriage. This one is done slightly differently. You'll actually want to run the cable straight through the carriage, not through the hole that is placed in the carriage just yet. You'll want to run it down the back side of this pulley. Now to place this cable onto the pulley, you'll want to remove this pin, remove the pulley guard, and on this pulley, you're going to have a straight end. You'll want to position that parallel to the ground, which will allow you to slide the cable in and run it back up through the front side into the hole inside of the carriage with a hex nut on the top side of that hole, which we will tighten later once we've positioned the cables on both sides. Once you've done it on this side of the two post lift, you'll want to repeat these same steps on the opposite post as well. Now we want to direct our attention to aligning the floor plates. Each floor plate has a width of exactly 18 inches. So you'll want to measure to the center point, which is nine inches, and align that to the chalk line that you've placed down for each of the two posts. Your Halo two post lift will come with two long hydraulic hoses that you will need to attach together using these fittings. Ensure that you use two crescent wrenches to tighten these fittings together well to ensure there is no leakage of hydraulic fluid as you operate your lift. Now that we're going to route the hose, first thing I wanna point out is that on the inside of each post, there is a channel that you will run the hose through from the very top of the post all the way down to the bottom. Now that we've routed the hydraulic hose through the channel in each post and down to the bottom near the hydraulic cylinder, you're going to have two fittings. You wanna start with the golden fitting and you wanna make sure you wrap it with Teflon tape or what's also referred to as plumber's tape to avoid any leakage of hydraulic fluid. The golden fitting, which we wrap the threaded end of with Teflon tape is what you're going to thread directly into the hydraulic cylinder through the back side of the post. You wanna make sure you tighten that well now you're going to take the silver fitting, place one of the two washers onto the fitting, and run the fitting through the end of the hydraulic hose. Place the second washer on the other end of the hydraulic hose and tighten into the golden fitting that we've just tightened into the hydraulic cylinder. Now that we've attached the hose to the post opposite the motor side post, You'll want to grab the three foot hydraulic hose to attach it to the motor side post cylinder. Now you'll want to take the long hydraulic hose end and run it through the top of the cross beam into the channel inside of the motor side post all the way down to the bottom of the hydraulic cylinder. You will want to align it to a hole that is at waist level on the outside of the post and use the fittings that come with the lift to attach your fourth and final hydraulic hose, which is about a foot long, to that end of the long hydraulic hose. Now that the hydraulic lines have been installed to the posts, you'll want to start working on your lock mechanism. We have two pulleys just like this included with your two post lift that you'll want to bolt on at the top of each of the two posts and we'll show you how to do that now.
We've now walked you through the main steps of installing a Halo Lifts two post car lift clear floor model. Give us a shout out on our social media pages and come shop on our website at www.halocarlifts.com.